We get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for one million dollars. These movies are good. A capital G. Mike Myers is funny. Truly. I remember going to that movie, going to Austin Powers 2 and thinking, well, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Haven't seen it since. Couldn't. I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was younger and then watched it, I think, when I was too old to really appreciate the comedy that was going on in it. Austin Powers is essentially like James Bond if he was a fucking dork with dirty teeth. Honestly, Austin Powers is the most quotable movie franchise on the planet. Hey baby. I'm Randy baby. All the comics today, I mean, it's a everybody's doing groovy baby, yeah. Yeah, your weird uncle quotes it, but it's good still. If you were in middle school around this era, 30% of the conversations you had were just quoting Austin Powers back and forth at each other. If someone is quoting Austin Powers to me today, I'm gonna think that there's something really wrong with them. Beyonce was in the last one? Well, that was the period where she was like, maybe I'll be an actress, maybe I'll do this. It's Beyonce, she's in an Austin Powers movie. Seeing Beyonce act is like seeing like Maggie Smith young. And it's like, I just, I, it ruins the illusion. As a world, we forgot that she had to play that character in Austin Powers. It's funny that they say introducing Beyonce. Um, no thank you. Have you ever heard of Destiny's Child Freaks? She's been killing it for years, and then she comes into that movie and totally steals the show. She's the best part of the whole movie. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's smart, and she's cool sauce. When I arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Bill. I definitely had the poster in my dorm room right next to my Goodwill hunting poster. These felt edgy when I was in high school because I was like, this is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of violence. I remember when I was 16, I got very upset on the IMDb message boards, RIP, that they had split the Kill Bills up. I wish we were talking about Hallmark Christmas movies because I really could have a lot to say about that, but we'll keep talking about Kill Bill. <laughs> it's called Kill Bill, but it's not about Bill, okay? It's about women. So it's kind of like a little bit of like guidebook to the past of genre cinema in a way that's very cool. Where it's like red. These women, they are my Disney princesses. Fuck Cinderella. I wanna be Black Mamba for Halloween, okay? I mean, if you're a foot perv, Quentin, looking at you, you're gonna wanna check this film out. You may have made it. Quentin Tarantino said that he was empowering women by giving them this hero. What? By teaching them to cut people uh, up with swords? And we already have a gun problem in this country? You deserve a little slap on the ass, Quentin Tarantino. Great movies, though. I try to uh, date people who say that it's a good movie. That's kind of my type. Is uh, like a guy that's like, have you seen Kill Bill? It's great. That's kind of my type. And then I said, no. And then we kind of have like a banter. Five point palm exploding heart technique. Like I think about that all the time. <laughs> if I do this for a couple hours, this stool will be gone. <laughs> Hey, hey man, let's drink some beers and make out with women. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude, we went pretty fast back there. That's Fast and Furious. My understanding before the film was that it's mostly about stealing cars and then the cars drive fast. After the film, that was still my understanding of the film. I feel like it's interesting to watch The Fast and the Furious and go back and understand how much the franchise has changed. Do they ever think back when they're stealing nukes like, man, crazy that 15 years ago, the most important thing to me was drag racing on a Saturday night, and now 
Me and my buddies are the only people who can save the world. I saw this movie and I was like, driving apparently is really cool and fun. You know what, maybe if you're 15, turning 16, you're about to learn how to drive, you can watch it as sort of like a lesson on how to not drive cars. And then I did drive a car. The first thing I did was back it into a ditch. If you're gonna drive, which is already reckless, you might as well drive fast and furious. I kind of do drive parade style, you know, like just kind of slowly for everyone to see, slow enough to wave as you drive by. In the trailer, she goes, this is yours, but if you win, you get her too. And then some girl goes, Ugh. So the guy gets that F2 girls, and that's his prize for racing a car. And some dude in the back of the theater just ejaculates all over the place. Come on, what kind of message are you trying to sh give the youth? The prize should be a clean environment. I'm gonna alienate myself right now, but I don't know if I know anyone that likes that movie, and that's because I'm a coastal elite. A lot of Francis Half fans are among, among my crew. I guess if there is somebody that likes both The Fast and the Furious and Francis Ha, will you write to me and tell me about yourself? I'd be very curious to know what kind of person is, is the middle of that Venn diagram.